In his Christmas message, the nation's chief prime minister, the most honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, also applauding the sacrifices and courage of Bahamians adversely impacted by COVID-19. The prime minister later offered condolences to the families of loved ones who died of the disease. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused overwhelming loss, grief, suffering, and heartbreak at home and throughout the world. Many of our people have lost their jobs, livelihoods, and businesses. Many need food and social assistance. It has been one of the most difficult years we have ever gone through. There are now 164 deaths from COVID-19, whose passing we mourn, as we continue to pray for their loved ones. May the goodness of their lives be an example their memory a blessing. Many Bahamians have fallen ill. Though we have often spoken about the number and cases of those who suffered from this disease, each individual is remembered by name, by their family and friends. Each one of them was made individually and specially in the divine image of God. In the midst of the despair, and the pain of 2020, we also know that hope has a name, this name, and this person is Jesus Christ, whom we also call by the name of Wonderful Counselor and Prince of Peace. The Prime Minister commended the work of public officers who assisted in reducing the spread of the COVID-19 virus. On behalf of the government of the Bahamas, I thank all public officers, including teachers, nurses, doctors, and healthcare professionals for all that you do throughout the year. I thank also the members of the uniformed branches who serve and protect us day and night, as well as those who serve our country overseas. This greeting extends also to the families of public officers and the families of members of the uniformed branches, especially those who are on duty during the holiday season. On my own behalf and that of my wife Patricia and our family, we extend to you and your family a blessed and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.